It's my, it's my crazy cat buddy. Well, hi everybody. This is Pookie. I hope you like the background I picked today. It's kind of peaceful. I want to go ahead and show you how to blur a person out of a video. Okay. Uh, so let's let's put our video in first. I've got a video here from the Matt Hawes show. This is a video where poor crazy cat Pete. He just he just can't get things right. He's been hooked on catnip. Well, we don't want to show him. I mean, you know, that's kind of embarrassing, getting hooked on catnip. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the portion of the screen where you can see his face. Okay, It's important to know that there's a real person, but we don't always want to show who it is. The way we're going to do this here is we're going to need two video tracks, track one, this will be where we're doing all of our editing and track two for the actual video itself. We need to find the start of the video where Crazy Cat Pete first shows up. Now there's a number of ways you can do it. You can press play and just let the video play through and then try to pause it when you first see him. Okay? Or what the way I like to do is kind of just click through, find approximately where it starts then use your left arrow or right arrow to move the the selection tool up at the top. As you can see, I'm to the frame before you see Crazy Cat Pete. So I'm going to press letter S. That splits the screen. That now gives me two separate little videos, even though it's all one video in real life. It gives me two segments I can work with. Now I need to also find where Crazy Cat Pete is out of the video okay he's out of the video there so I'll arrow until I find where I see him there he is now I'll go a frame maybe two frames afterwards but usually one frame is good I'm going to split it again by pressing letter S now I have the segment right here this is just crazy cat Pete okay so we're gonna get rid of his face out of here so that he can't tell who he is. He's got to stay anonymous, you know. Then we're going to copy this. Okay, right click on the little clip, choose copy. And since I already have this selected at the beginning, we're just going to go up here to the first track. We're going to right click again and choose paste. Now I have a duplicate of the video in the top track and the bottom track. Now comes the fun part. We need to add some video effects to this. Okay, The first video effect we're going to add is what is called cookie cutter. Okay, Cookie cutter allows you to take a section of the screen either out or put a section of the screen in overlapping another section. I'm going to maximize this here for the moment so you can see the little display window here. What we're going to do is we're going to add our border first. Now your border can be any color you want. Let's uh, let's go with yellow. Yellow is a nice color today. Okay. Then we're going to change the size. We're going to shrink that down to about the same size as Crazy Cat Pete's head. There we go. Now I've got that over there. I could shrink that even more if I want, but I'm going to leave this a little bit bigger than Crazy Cat Pete because he's going to move. Okay, he's not going to stay in the same spot. Now we can get rid of the border if we want. I'm going to leave a little bit of the border there just so you can see where it's at on the screen. Make that a little bit bolder. Then we need to add another video effect to this. Sorry if you can hear my cell phone in that. I don't know if you can for sure. But um, we need to go back up here. We need to add another video effect. And we're going to add blur. Okay, so we're going to use the Gaussian blur. And choose OK. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Can't even see his face anymore. Now you know there's a puppet there, but you can't tell who he is. So let's start it. Let's see what happens. We're going to start back at the beginning. There's Matt talking with all the puppets. And there you go. There's Crazy Cat Pete blurred out. But look what's happening. He's moving. 
he's no longer in that blur anymore. So now what we need to do is we need to find where where he got out of that blur. Okay. Let's go back. Here we go. He's still in the blur there. So the easiest way to do this, split the screen again. Remember, you're just working with the first, the top. Okay, and we're going to go to our event effects again. And we need to change where that is, or we need to increase the size. So let's increase the size here, just to make it simple. We'll increase the size. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we've increased the size. Oh, but see, it wasn't quite big enough. So what you can do, now that we've got that size increased, as he starts moving forward, you can either split the screen again, or in this video clip, see how it goes, it just goes to the full size face there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add down here where we have our cookie cutter, sorry. We're going to make it increase from the beginning to the end. Let's find right there. I've added a point. I'm going to increase it and we're going to move it like that. And let's try that. Let's see how that looks. It's not quite perfect there, but I think you have the idea now of how to do that. I hope this helps you with your video production. Have a great day.